everyone, it's Brandon Foster from Magic Land Vacations, the travel planning genies. We help families save time, save stress, save hassle, and create extra magic on their Disney and Universal destination vacations. And today, we're at Universal Studios Florida in beautiful Orlando to tell you everything there is to do for Halloween in 2020 at Universal Orlando Resort. If you've never been to Universal Orlando Resort for Halloween time, normally you have the amazing Halloween Horror Nights. Now this year, because of COVID-19, things look a little bit different at Universal Orlando Resort, but that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of Halloween fun to be had. We have two haunted houses we are gonna talk about today. We have Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and the Bride of Frankenstein. We have the amazing Halloween Horror Nights, 30 Years of Horror tribute store that we're gonna do a complete walkthrough of show you that as well and of course there's also a scarecrow scavenger hunt that a lot of people don't even know about for the big kids we can actually get some candy at the end we're going to talk about that too now make sure you stay till the end of this video because i'm actually going to tell you the best kept secret about universal lander resort how i can guarantee you that you're going to have front of line access for at least seven to ten rides when you come to Universal Orlando Resort. So don't forget that. And if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights before, if you've been to Halloween at Universal Orlando before, tell me in the comments, what was your favorite thing to do? What was your favorite thing to see? I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm at the first haunted house we're gonna go in today, and that is the Bride of Frankenstein. As you guys can see behind me, the wait time is only 10 minutes, which is absolutely amazing. If you guys get here early in the day and it looks like there's going to be a big crowd, make sure you check the Universal Virtual Queue to see if they're using the Virtual Queue for that day. And if you haven't used Virtual Queue before, I got a video that tells you how to do that. And that video is right up there. All right, so Bride of Frankenstein, I've heard that with social distancing, this is going to be even scarier than it has before. Because if you've been to Hollywood Horror Nights before, you know that it's basically a continuous line of people walking through but because of social distancing it's not gonna be that way you're gonna be by yourself i'm really excited to see what this is like and i can't film in the house but i will tell you what it's like as soon as i come out holy moly you guys i just came out of the house and it was absolutely amazing it was so 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 good they had the scare actors were all behind uh plexiglass and barriers for social distancing and for protection for both the the team members and also for us who were going through the house and it was way scarier to me in my opinion than it is normally on halloween horror nights they did an amazing job with the bride of frankenstein house i've never thought of the bride of frankenstein as being scary but uh in this case i was a little scared i jumped a couple of times all right, so we have another house to go to, which is the house of the Tooth Fairy. Is that right? Let's go check that out. All right, so now we're going to go into the second haunted house, which is Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. So for any of you people who've lost a tooth and have not been very nice to that Tooth Fairy, which she's trying to bring you those quarters and those dimes, or maybe your Tooth Fairy is a little bit more generous and brings those mad dollar bills, this house is going to be for you. And right now the wait time is a five minute wait time. Yes, I think so. That's what we call hashtag winning today. All right, so let's go check it out and see what it's like. So I just came out of the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and I'm telling you guys right now, that Tooth Fairy be really upset. <laughs> that Tooth Fairy is really angry today. So I'm just warning you guys, you guys go through this house, it is quite scary. Now, if I'm going to compare Bride of Frankenstein versus Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, I'm going to say the Bride of Frankenstein was a tad bit scarier in my opinion, uh, but they were both absolutely incredible haunted houses. I thought they were way scarier than during normal Halloween Horror Nights because of the social distancing. And I think Universal Orlando did a fantastic job of doing social distancing inside these two haunted houses. And I'm so happy that they have this available for all of my friends, family, and of course, all of my amazing clients from Magic Land Vacations that are going to Universal Orlando this fall during October. And now I think it's time that we should go visit the Tribute Store. My husband is a huge fan of Beetlejuice, and I heard they have a whole Beetlejuice section, so let's go check that out. All right, so now I am standing outside the Halloween Horror Night 
Hearts Tribute Store celebrating 30 years of horror. For those of you who didn't know, this was supposed to be the 30th anniversary of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort. And they have some amazing theming inside this tribute store along with some amazing merchandise. So let's go inside there and check it out for ourselves. So we are walking in the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. Ooh, it looks like it's gonna get a little bit dark as we go through. Oh, wow, this is amazing, you guys. Let me turn this around for you guys so you guys can see what I'm looking at. We have some homage to the Frankenstein in here. You can see that we got Frankenstein over here. This is amazing inside here. We got a whole bunch of merchandise on this back wall. Some Frankenstein pillows. You can actually make a Franken mold. You can mold yourself to look like Frankenstein over here. That's pretty cool. This is an homage to basically Universal's monsters. You can see a whole bunch of cool merchandise here celebrating the different monsters. A bunch of Universal Horror Nights merchandise over here. Celebrating the Bride of Frankenstein. Wow, this is amazing. celebrating all the iconic figures from Halloween Horror Nights. The caretaker, Jack the Clown, the storyteller. Check out all these masks that you can purchase if you want to. There's even a Beetlejuice mask. Alright, so now we are in the Beetlejuice section.
So something else that is really cool at Universal Orlando just for Halloween is they actually have what's called the Scarecrow Stock. So what you can do, you can go see a Universal Orlando team member and you're going to see stations like this. And basically there's 13 Scarecrows that are like located all around Universal Orlando Resort and you get a hand stamp for a stamp for each one that you find. And once you get all 13 that are found, you get some candy! How cool is that? Alright, so even if it's not Halloween Horror Nights when you're visiting Universal Orlando, that doesn't mean you can't still have some monster fun. There's the Monster Cafe, which is right at the entrance to Universal Studios Florida, and they serve a delicious array of basically barbecue food. And you know, I'm from Texas, so I'm all the way out down with some ribs, some brisket, some rotisserie chicken. I'm always down for that. And they have a really cool chair that you could actually get your picture on this electric chair like you are, you know, a universal monster! <laughs> the other thing you wanna make sure that you do if you're gonna celebrate Halloween at Universal Orlando is you gotta check out the Halloween Horror Makeup Show, right? That's just like a no-brainer. And you know, you can do this all year long, so it doesn't specifically have to be Halloween, but I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, we're about to find out, that Beetlejuice makes a surprise appearance. So let's check it out. <laughs> Ladies. You like what you see? So the question, of course you do. Before you ask, I'll answer the next question. And it's all natural. Ugh. Well, looks like my time's up right here. You know, time is money. I got place to go. People with his ass, you know, by a way, so doesn't do himself. In. Oh, what did I forget this time? Oh, yes! The corporate safety guidelines! Alright, let's get these done one here. Okay. Alrighty. Technical difficulties, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I'd like to remind each and every one of you to please refrain from any eating, drinking, or smoking. Flash photography is more than welcome. In fact, get those hashtags on there. But since we're on the topic of those cell phones, let's go ahead and put those things on the silent, shall we? <laughs> mm -hmm, it's all about you, isn't it? A reminder to my families out there with small children, this show does have some special effects and some props that could be scary, but let's be honest, those kids got the internet. <laughs> and lastly, this is the horror makeup show, which means I need to hear your best horror movie scream. So, let's do it together on three! <laughs> Thank you, man, that was a little premature. I expect that from a guy, but okay, fine. <laughs> All right, one, two, three! <laughs> that sucked. Come on, you can do better than that! One, two, three! <laughs> There, let's do it one last time, but imagine this in a song! Yeah. Yeah, happy engagement, you two. Yeah. Yeah. It's showtime! <laughs> the exit's over here.
what? Today's your lucky day. I have all of these parts for you to build a minister, and we're going to marry you right here oh on the stage gosh, today. Okay? That sounds so fun. So go make, your, make yourself all a right, guy to marry you, or a lady, whatever. I guess and just whatever you want. And just put them on together, and that then we'll get started. Fun. <laughs> No! <laughs> Talk to them before oh, you do this. Of course I'd love to. One second, Megan. I'm trying to apologize for interrupting. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen up, kids. Okay, very important. Okay, kids. Do not drink beer for breakfast. Okay? <laughs> Just because mommy does it doesn't make it right. Okay. It's because we started virtual school and mommy needs mimosas. Hey! <laughs> Big screen. You guys One, two, three! three. the Hollywood Horror Makeup Show. It is absolutely amazing, you guys. Beetlejuice was there, as you guys can see in the video clips, and the two ladies uh, who did the show were phenomenal. They were hilarious, amazing at improv, made it really, I've seen this show before, and I have to say this, probably the, the best, if not close to the best, I've ever, it was amazing. I'm just like, I loved it. They did an amazing job. I highly encourage you guys to come and see this show. Regardless of if it's Halloween time or not, of course, Beetlejuice is right there right now for Halloween. So this is one of the best kept secrets at Universal Orlando Resort. If you want to experience Universal Orlando Resort with front of the line access guaranteed for anywhere from seven to 10 rides, then you want to do the VIP tour. It includes breakfast and includes lunch as well. You have your own VIP tour guide. We've been pricing it out for our clients and honestly, if you're already getting express pass and you're doing the quick service dining plan, which is going to save you money already, it's only like an extra hundred dollars and it is totally worth it. You get unlimited express pass after your tour for the rest of the day. And that is one of the best kept secrets at Universal Orlando Resort. Oh man, was that ad absolutely incredible to see all the amazing things you can see for Halloween at Universal Orlando Resort. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for Halloween Horror Nights to return next year in 2021. We're already booking and planning other people's vacations. So excited about that. If this is your first time joining us, make sure you guys look at some of those links that I have down below. We do giveaways every single month. If you want to check that out, we also have our free planning guide that you want to check out too. And of course, I have some other amazing videos for you to look at. I got one right here and one right here. They're both absolutely amazing. They both have so much things that I can share and tell you about. Oh my gosh, we have new content every single week. And I hope you guys have a happy, happy, happy Halloween.